Hi there, join me in this video when I'm at RSPB Oldmore. Today I'm just outside Rotherham at RSPB Oldmore and it's a while since I've been here. It was a great day the last time I visited. I saw lots of pieces of birds. Now it's a different time of the year that I'm visiting at the moment. It's a lot earlier in the year and I came more in mid-summer. It's now mid-February. So it'll be interesting to see what I see. And the most important thing that I want to try and do today is use the new firmware update on the Z8 to see See what kind of difference it makes and let you know if I can really tell an improvement in the autofocus for the Z8 with the new firmware version 2 update. So come along with me because I really know that I'm going to enjoy my photography. So I've just been talking to some of the volunteers here at Oldmore and they were quite interested in my camera equipment and so I was demonstrating the way that the update allows the focus point to track birds and I just found a bird that was just um, near the entrance so it's just a, a great tip but the focus point stayed locked onto the bird even if I moved the camera around quite a lot the focus point stayed with it right into the corner of the frame and that is really good signs for when I'm out on the reserve when I see some perhaps more interesting birds and it will just enable me to focus on them really quickly and take some great pictures. Just spent a little bit of time in a hide further along this path. Um, it was quite busy, so I couldn't do any filming, but apparently there's a possibility of the sighting of some bearded tits. Now, I hadn't realized that they were here. Um, now, nobody in the hide has seen them, and I'm in another blind a little bit further along the path where there is some possibilities of sightings. And again, nothing um, has appeared yet so far. Now, apparently, because it's a bit of a grim day and it's um, raining on and off there's not a lot of chance seeing the beaded tits because they do tend to prefer a little bit nicer weather so I don't know whether I'll see them we can hear a coot just here in the background and there's plenty of those but I'll keep my eye out but so far while I was sitting in that hide I have tried out uh, the autofocus with birds in flight um, and I think that was quite successful I've just been talking to a warden here in this hide um, and he said unfortunately there's not much about today there's some Canada geese just outside this hide um, but they're pretty much ten a penny there's lots of coots about um, but other than that there's nothing really spectacular regarding sightings so you never know with bird photography something might just happen. You have to be in the right place at the right time to catch um, the best photographs. And so it's no point giving up just yet because you never know what might happen.
So I've just been in this hide here behind me and it's full of about 20 preschool children because it's half term week. Now, it wasn't really affecting the birds. Um, they weren't bothered at all but it was affecting my mental state. So I'll put this um, little bit of video here of these Canada geese with some nice um, quiet background sounds, but this is what it really sounded like. Thankfully there are no shortage of hides here at Oldmore and I managed to find a hide a lot farther away from the visitor centre that is completely empty, there's nobody else in it but unfortunately there's not a lot actually on the water that I can see either. Um, I really wanted to try and take some photographs of birds in flight to test the autofocus but there are a lot of birds flying about for one and also it's quite overcast so to stand any chance at all I'm having to get the ISO very very high which is not ideal either. Now hopefully I can take some of that noise out that has been generated with noise reduction software but it doesn't still make for the cleanest, sharpest images. Really for this kind of thing, I'd want some brighter conditions. So I'm not massively optimistic with how any of these shots will turn out. Um, and I still don't feel I've got a really, really top-notch um, shot to um, go home with. Every bird that I've seen so far has been quite a long distance away. But what I am noticing is when I do take photographs of birds in flight is that the autofocus is actually locking on very quickly and sticking to the birds while they're in flight as well. And so if the conditions were right, I'm sure that the photographs would be really good. Now this is me from the following day and I've had chance to edit some of the photographs. Now they're not anywhere near as bad as I was expecting them to be. So far this is the worst one that I've come across. Um, it's not quite as sharp as I really would like. This is probably due to the fact this gull was quite a long distance away um, and I didn't get the shutter speed quite as high as I should have done. It was 1 800th of a second. Um, I could have put the ISO a little bit higher because it was at 5 but I was trying to reduce the noise at the time um, but this is still the worst image that I got but after running it through noise reduction software it's still quite reasonable but this is as I said the worst one of the lot um, taken from that same hide I've got this shot which I really quite like and again this is not the best shot that I got. A lot of the other shots, um, such as these now that I'm putting on the screen, are really sharp. The autofocus is locked onto the eye and has caught these gulls in motion really well. So despite me being pessimistic while I was on site, the actual results are really good. And so if I'd got some better conditions um, with brighter light, I think I would have got some really stunning images. It goes to show that even in poor conditions, that the Z8 has performed really well. So later in the video, I might just mention that it was a little bit disappointing. I've actually got some really good sightings to finish the video with. So I'll go back to Oldmore to just finish out the video. Well, I'm nearly back at the car and I've just visited one final hide and the talk of the reserve this morning has been the sighting of red poles and I did manage to see the red poles, um, some bullfinches and quite a lot of other garden birds at the final hide where they put out feed. So that's been a great end to the day um, and getting a picture of a red pole and a bullfinch is something that I haven't done for about four years. I used to get them in my back garden all the time and I just haven't seen them for ages. So that's a great end to the morning.
just goes to show that bird photography is never over till it's over. I've got those great shots at the end of the red pole and the bullfinches. Um, a really nice way to cap off the morning. It's just a shame that I didn't manage to get some better shots of birds in flight to really test out the Z8's new firmware, but unfortunately the light's been against me. And even though the lighting's starting to improve now, I've got a two hour drive home. And so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to call it a day. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that video, and if you have, let me know down below in the comments or nip over to my Instagram or Vero account, that's at Dokedon Photography. Leave me your comments there, and you can also see lots of my photographs. Now, if you like what I do on the channel or want to help support me to make future content like this, then you can leave at the gift shop, that's at Teespring. There I've got a range of merchandise on offer, so head off over there because the purchase really does help me out, and it's very much appreciated. But you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel. You can do that simply by clicking the like, subscribe, and the bell notifications really helps me out and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any future content watch out for next week's video that goes live on sunday in the meantime just go and check out this video just up here but all that's left now is to say stay safe and i'll see you soon